Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For tonight's video, we're going to do a get unready with me where we just sit down and just chit chat and just relax. These kind of videos are pretty much one of the more requested videos on my channel. I, I love that you guys love these because I love to film them, so we're all good. As you can see, I've got a full face of makeup on. Actually, I just filmed this look just a couple minutes ago. I mean, I finished filming it, but I just actually finished filming it. So I guess the first thing I'm gonna do is put my hair up in a little bun or ponytail, I don't fucking know, and get it the fuck out of my face, take my uh, chola earrings off, and take the bra off because I'm sorry. I don't know how people will do these like get on ready with me videos like towards the end of the night. I don't understand how you leave your bra on because let's be real, the very first thing that comes the fuck off before the makeup even comes off is my fucking bra because the girls need to breathe, ladies and gentlemen. So let's just go ahead and get that going, which, <laughs> If you don't want to watch this, then don't fucking watch it. Ah. Uh, okay. <laughs> I threw that bitch so hard it hit the fucking ceiling thing. Oops. All right, bras off. We are in full relaxation mode. Take this shit off now. Oh, God. You know what feels even better than taking your bra off after a long ass fucking day? Taking your lashes off. Ugh. I don't mind lashes and I love to wear lashes because they really add a little extra thought into looks, but they're just so annoying sometimes. And it gets to the point where towards the end of the day, especially, I just get so irritated. And there have been times like before I've even gone home from work that I ripped the bitches off my eyes and just stuck them on a piece of like sticky note and just carried that shit home because I'm just not dealing with it. And then we're gonna take my little chola earrings off because them bitches are heavy as fuck. And the first product I'm gonna use is the e.l.f. Hydrating Gel Melt Cleanser. Now, this little jar is probably my favorite product in my entire skincare regimen, which is right up here. It is literally magic in a jar. If you've never used anything like this before, I highly suggest picking this up. The only other thing that's pretty much identical, if not similar to this product, is actually the Clinique Stay All Day, or no, the Clinique Take the Day Off Balm, which has similar packaging, except that one's purple. It's a much larger bottle. It's definitely worth it to invest in the Clinique product because it's actually better for your skin. Not saying this is not good for your skin, but it's Clinique, you know what I mean? Like that shit's made for your skin to be perfect perfect after using it. This is essentially pretty much the same deal in a cheaper formula. It looks like like petroleum jelly kind of in the bottle as you can see. You get a lot of product for the price. It's only like eight bucks per jar but it removes your makeup with like little to no effort. It's incredible and I just take a very small amount like that much and I just warm it up in my fingers and then we just start to apply to the face and you will see the makeup like come the fuck off. One thing I love about this is if you are someone with really dry skin, this is of course a hydrating gel cleanser. So while it takes the makeup off, it's also going to hydrate your skin. So if you're someone who suffers from really, really dry skin, like chronically dry skin, this is probably gonna be one of the best things for you to purchase if you want a makeup remover. Because number one, it fucking works. And number two, it also hydrates while it works. So it's even better. All right guys, so the next step is now to go to the sink wash it off with my favorite face wash and i'll meet you guys right back here all right guys so as you can see my skin looks pretty freaking clean i really really like this product a lot if there's one thing i think everyone should own from this line from elf it is the gel melt cleanser especially if you have really dry skin this is going to be a thing for you to use now to wash that shit off my face, I use the St. Ives Blemish Control Apricot Scrub. It says here it prevents blemishes and minimizes pores. I've used this stuff for fucking years. I've used this since maybe like, even like eighth grade going into high school. Like I've used it for years and it is the only product I've continued to use out of my entire regimen, out of all the regimens I've had throughout my entire teenage years. This is the only product I've used continuously time and time again and had positive results coming from it. But I am gonna be using the Freeman Feeling Beautiful Renewing Cucumber Peel Off Gel Mask. It is just a clear mask. I'll go ahead and put a little bit on my finger so you can see it's very clear. Alright, 
So I haven't done a haul in a very long time, so I figured instead of doing like a chit chat video with you guys, which I've already done in the past few days, let's just do a relaxed spa night haul, shall we? All right, so you guys know Halloween is here. It's like what, in like less than a week, not even. It's like around the corner. And you guys also know that I'm obsessed with Wet n Wild. So I had to pick up the entire Halloween line. These are the Wet n Wild paint palettes. Now these retailed for, I want to say like six bucks each. As you can see, this one's a very vivid, like bright one. This one is the metallic one. And this one is the pastels for more lighter looks. Picked all those up at my local Rite Aid. And then I also picked up all of the Fantasy Makers eyeshadow palettes. These are the glitter eyeshadow palettes. I absolutely love these. This one is in the shade Heavy Metals. This is what it looks like. This one is in the shade Brights. This one, which is my favorite one out of all of them, is in the shade Ethereal. And then lastly, we have this one, which is the Neutrals. And because I am somebody who is obsessed with all of the Wet n Wild highlights, I had to travel to find the next three. As you guys know, Wet n Wild released these two, which are actually brand new silver box. I already own these two myself, but these are two extras in case I run out of those. These were the first two of the highlighting powders they released in Precious Petals and Crown of My Canopy, the more goldish, like coppery one. It's super pretty. They just released a few weeks ago um, the new shades in that highlighting range, and I I picked up all of them. You have Royal Calyx, which is like the bluish, like cauliflower blue almost. It's really pretty, almost like lilac actually. Botanic Dream, which is a nice like champagne -y pink one. And then you also have Blossom Glow. But the number one thing I was on the hunt for for fucking weeks was this little tube of magic. This is the L'Oreal Paris Infallible Galaxy Stick Multi-Use Illuminating Stick in the shade Astro Blue. I'm pretty sure there are different shades of this. I only found this one on the shelf, otherwise I would have had all of them. But this one was the one that really just, I can't, you really can't see it. It looks really weird and just plain like white there. But um, let me just swatch it for you guys because, um, hi. It is the most beautiful ultra metallic galaxy iridescent -y stick I've ever seen used anything. It's just absolutely gorgeous. This thing was like 10 bucks. It was pretty expensive. So in order to get all three, you have to spend like 30 bucks, which I mean, can I really justify that kind of spending? Yes, I can. So I peeled the mask off and as you can see, my face looks pretty clear. I mean, it's not that bad. There's still some leftover, but not bad at all. Anyways guys, I am going to get on out of here and uh, rest up for the night. Also get this all edited and uploaded for you guys. If you guys like this video, give it a thumbs up as always. If you have not subscribed already, please do. I'd love to add some more of you guys to my ever growing family. And if there are ever any topics that you guys would like me to discuss in future chit chat videos, my tutorials are making a comeback pretty soon. Let me know what you want me to talk about and I will be sure to talk about those things in the next video. But for now, I'm tired. I'm gonna get out and edit this video. I love you guys. Subscribe if you're not already, and I will see you guys in the next one. I love you.